Hey, it's Nate, the Kilted Carpenter. And I've got wood. Today we're going to go, be going over part three of my workbench storage drawers process. I've got it broken up into 16 and 3 quarter inch, 18, 18, and 18. I'll show you how I've gone through each process and we're going to build some drawers today. Okay, these are the two drawers we've done so far. They're approximately an inch and a quarter deep, which doesn't seem like much, but I'm only going to have a couple of those. Uh, it's enough to hold smaller items, um, sockets, wrenches, and items like that. I, can, I made them 20 inches deep back. Uh, the whole box is approximately 24 inches, so I do have another 4 inches to play with if I want to. Uh, I will be able to realistically pull them out about 16 inches or so. That's a 12 inch ruler, so I've got about another 4 inches. Um, as you can see, it slides nice and smooth. We'll move this down. I made it so that it slides into every single slot on there. These are inch and a quarter. The next set of drawers is going to be two and a half inch. The one problem I did run into when I was cutting these was that when I was doing my dados for the drawer slides, I measured the brown board, which is 0.11 thickness, when I was actually going to be using one fifth plywood, which is 0 0.20. 0 0.20, 0 0.11. So the problem with that is the plywood I was going to use does not fit in the slots. Not a big deal. I've got a fix for that. Okay, so what I've done is I've cut a 45 on the end and then I notched it. That does not take away from the strength of the base at all. Uh, it'll still be extremely strong. I've tested that plus I'm not going to be putting 20 or 30 pounds in each drawer It's going to be maybe 10 and with the full length of the edge that'll be plenty of support So what I've got here is I made a template for the base and I used brown board and This brown board slides in and out of each one. So I'm going to use that as the template for my plywood. I've gone ahead and cut the sides and the backs. This is one of the first pieces I'd messed up on. I was trying to do a hand trim router. I'm not good at it, so each one came out messy, but I was able to salvage them. I'm going to use that for the back. For the front, for the sides. So it'll be like that. Um, of course, I'm going to cut the front and the back down so it fits each and every board. I want to make sure that everything's snug, um, not too loose, not too tight, that it fits in, fits in the box evenly. So I'll do that. I'm going to go ahead and cut down my plywood and I will show you that. Okay, so I've got my plywood measured and what I've done here is for width 17 inches just at. Now I'm setting the fence for the 20 inch. I'm going to run both of these through. When I'm done I'll have Four pieces that are 20 inches plus I'll have a couple inches left over for scraps to use on something else okay I've got each of my four bases cut they should be exact 
Unfortunately, since I did mess up using the thickness of the brown board instead of this, now I have to go cut the little dados. So I'll cut the first one, I'll try it, we'll come back, and once we've got that set, we will cut all of them. Okay, so I've got three of them fitted. Uh, the fourth I did have an issue with, but as you can see, smooth, not too tight, not too loose. All right, I got the fourth one trimmed down. Uh, one edge was a little odd. I'm not sure whether maybe I twisted a little bit while cutting, but if it's now And of course you can see I cut this one upside down. I wanted the wood grain inside the drawer, but I was going through them really quick. I guess I didn't pay attention enough. Boom. No big deal. The drawers are going to be covered on the inside anyway with foam uh, as I set them up. But nice and smooth. Okay, at this point I pulled the two drop top drawers out. I am now using one of the edges that I cut for the sides and I'm going to put it up against there. I picked one of the flatter ones, snug it up against there and I'm going to draw a line on either side so I know where to glue to and I'm going to do that on each one of these. Okay so I've got them all marked. I will line the wood up like this, right along the edge. I'm going to glue it, clamp, and brad nail. Then I'll move to the next one. Then once I've got them all straight and ready to go, I will measure the front and the back, and I'll cut those individually for each one because they're going to be slightly off. Okay, so I've got three of the drawers done. I did not do the fourth because it's going to be a four inch drawer. Now I've got to measure and cut the ends. Okay, this is Nate. I've got the last couple done. They're fairly smooth. I appreciate you watching my video today. Like, comment, subscribe. Have a good one. And remember, mistakes happen. That's what you learn from. Thank you.